Well, if you want to hear about my disastrous Atlanta trip, keep watching. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog. <laughs> oh boy. I know you're so used to those who are doing YouTube. You know, I'm nowhere near famous or anything like that, but I watch enough YouTube to know that everybody tries to show the glamorous or the everything's going good, everything's going right, everything's jolly. <laughs> I'm not going to be that type of channel. I'm going to tell you how it is. My Atlanta trip was a fail. So I don't even know where to start. I was not prepared. This Atlanta trip, Atlanta was like a big booty woman telling the man, you need to come correct. Honey, she ain't playing no games. Everything from the traffic... <laughs> So let's just go ahead and get started. Well, everything started off okay. We left. We should not have left so late as we did. We left at about 2.30. We were not prepared for Atlanta traffic. Everything was good till we got to Macon, Georgia. Okay, so the first thing we ran into was a storm. I thought it was a hurricane. I was so scared. You could not see. And I mean, you could not see nothing in front of you. I'm hoping I got footage of it. If you do, you'll be seeing it while I'm talking. If I, I mean, if I did, you'll be seeing it while I'm talking. That slowed us down to a crawl because that was truly, truly scary. Then once we hit Atlanta and that traffic. I ain't never seen nothing like it. I'm from Virginia. I live in Florida, as you all know if you watch any of my videos. And we still don't have traffic like that. I've never I've seen it on TV, never experienced it. We got to Atlanta at 8:40. I was tired. I was the I mean the it it was a lot of uh, uh, construction going on, so we almost got lost. It, it, it was terrible. It was horrible. So by the time we got to the hotel, um, I was exhausted. I didn't, because I had an outfit picked out to go to a beautiful dinner. We was going to do it up, honey. I had my outfit I didn't care nothing about no outfit. I didn't care nothing about going to no dinner to getting dressed up trying to find um, a restaurant because the restaurant in the hotel was closed. So I said, you know what? I'm wearing what I got on. And I'm, I'm just, I just need to eat. I hadn't eaten anything all day. I need to eat and I need a drink. I don't care about getting no footage of me trying to act like I'm all that. I was tired. So here is the restaurant. Um, it was a pub of the restaurant, which means it was the bar area of the restaurant. The hotel was beautiful. Um, it Anyway, so here's the bar. Um, I said I'm on vacation. Everything's going wrong because y'all know I eat side dishes, right? I ordered me some hot spicy shrimp. Now, I ain't gonna, you know, I don't eat no other meat. If I eat meat, it's seafood. I ordered me some hot and spicy shrimp, and I ordered me a Long Island iced tea. Now, like I said, I'm from Jacksonville. I The Long Island iced tea here, I don't know, maybe I ain't went to the right bartender, but they are so weak, you know, but I just like the taste of it. So, I ordered it. I ordered the, um, the, uh, so I ordered the Long Island iced tea. It tasted so delicious. And he must have put rum, um, spicy rum in it because it had a spicy taste to it. And it was so good. I sucked that up like a vodka, girl. When I tell you that shrimp was the best shrimp I ever had, and you know I'm, I was a shrimp eater. That was the best 
shrimp. It had jalapenos. I put the jalapeno on top, that spicy drink. Honey, honey. <laughs> it was delicious. Okay, so I took my drink. I finally calmed down. My nerves was better. And um, I ordered a second one to go to the room for my little nightcap. Well, by the time I got to my room, that first one kicked in. That second one was still on next to me in the bed. I couldn't touch it. It was a wrap. I guess the, the drink, the good food, the traveling all day, the hot, the discourage about the traffic, it knocked me completely out. I was gone. I ain't take off makeup. Only thing I ever, ever do is put my hair up. Because I had braids in my hair. And I put it up because I don't care. I can't sleep with stuff on my neck. I woke up at 2.30. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, um, set, put, made sure my phone was charged. Because I said, you know what? Today was wasted. Okay, but I'm going to thrift con. I'm ready. I'm going to be good. I still got an outfit left. I'm going to look cute in thrift con. Not cute like dressed up, but I had on the cutest robe and dress and um, my Ugg, uh, purple Uggs. And let's just go ahead and look at the room. As you see, the room is nice. It is a very nice room. It was four star. Uh, near the event, it was only two and three stars. And honey, I don't stay in two and three star hotels. So this hotel was 30 miles away. Um, and I said, okay, we that's okay. We'll stay in it. You know, um, it's good when you're traveling with people that also want, you know, something better than a two, a two or three star hotel. Because some people don't care. I do. Okay, I didn't care when I was younger. I care now. Uh, the bed was, oh, I didn't even want to get out of that bed. That bed was everything. When I tell you comfort... The room was nice. You see me in the morning. I'm getting up. So let's go ahead and hear what I got to say. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Atlanta. So it is early. I want to come up and say hello and welcome to the vlog. The drivers out here. If I could video the drivers and the crazy way people drive, I'm quite sure you know. It is amazing. So... By the time we got in, it was late. We were tired. Um, but I showed you some footage that we did go eat at the hotel. Um, we ate in the hotel because we didn't feel like going, looking around, find, trying to find a place. Um, the restaurant that they had on their website was closed. There was no 24-hour room service. Um, so I'm at the La, Mer La Meridian. I showed you the um, title of the hotel when I when we first came in. Um, the food was delicious for us to be sitting at a, a bar where it looked like nobody was paying any attention. It was crowded. It was hot. So this morning, you know, we only staying overnight because the main thing is ThriftCon. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to have some breakfast. So I will take you wherever we decide to go. And then we are going to ThriftCon and see how it is. So let's go. Okay, so you heard what I had to say. You could tell I was tired. But I was confident, I was ready, and we figured, okay, it's from 12 to 5, it's from 10 to 5. I'm thinking ThriftCon, they say plenty of parking. Okay, 
uh let's enjoy the hotel let's get us some breakfast so here's breakfast um and i had me a coffee and a juice uh, I'm not a breakfast eater, so I don't like eating first thing in the morning. I still do my intimate fasting, even though I was only going to fast to probably about lunchtime. Uh, but I showed you what they got for breakfast. Um, and so I was ready. Once again, Atlanta told me, you are not ready for me. You not ready. Okay, so you know I told you it was 30 miles out, so that's okay. That was about... Uh, uh, we it, it, really with traffic, it was supposed to be like 25 minutes. I mean, so it was 30 miles out, which is not really that long about 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. No, not in Atlanta, honey. Not in Atlanta. So we got, I don't know how long it was because it was back to back to back to back traffic. I said, This is a Sunday morning. Where are these people going? Where are you going? On a Sunday, it looked like Monday rush hour traffic in Florida. But it's a Sunday morning. So we about five miles out. I was like, where is all these people going? It is a lot of people walking. We about five miles from the thing. Back to back traffic. People coming in and out. I was getting frustrated. People were driving crazy. And it's like, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. It was just horrible. First thing in the morning. Okay. I'm still thinking. Why are these people walking to? It's a lot of people walking. So, let's get up five miles. Honey. Both parking lots, which was vast, was full. This was an area where, unlike if you ever went to a football game where everybody park in different areas around it, you know, and you may walk there because you, you know, or you may find somebody uh, that is like letting you park in their thing for some money. So I pull out my cash. I'm like, we can find some way to park. No, it was not like that. When I tell you everything was full and around that area, it was nothing but businesses that like real businesses. It's like, no. And the police as you going past saying, do not park anywhere that you are not supposed to park. You will get towed. They are saying this as you are driving by. We drove around for an hour trying to find parking. I was done. If you anything like me, or maybe you got that patience or whatever. I don't mind walking, but you need a place to park to walk. It was in an area where there it was it it was like the weirdest thing. It was in an area where there was once all that parking was gone, it was gone. That's why when we was driving five miles down the road, it was people coming. So we try. An hour, we tried to find parking up and down the street, all sides. I ain't ate nothing. I, I was done. Ladies and gentlemen, I was done. I said, I'm ready to go. Once I say I'm ready to go, it's time to go. I'm hungry. I'm frustrated. The traffic, every, every, everywhere we turned, every street we went down, everything we tried to do, honey, it was just... So I go online to really read the reviews and heard people talking about it. I hashtag ThriftCon. A, if you won't there by 8.30, you won't gonna get no parking. B, you need to take an Uber or a Lyft, get dropped off and picked up because the traffic is horrible. My tickets was only fifteen dollars, and the be the worst thing is, and I I'm not putting no shade, shade on thrift crime because the next time I will be prepared. But all these people I saw coming in and out, and this whole time we've been driving and everything, I only saw one person with a bag. No, I said, you know what? It was a impromptu let's hurry up let's just do it type thing and if you go into atlanta it's not a one day trip let's do it we were in traffic more than we were in the hotel eating anything else 
So I am here to tell you, I had a failed, failed Atlanta trip. It was all my fault. It had nothing to do with Atlanta, honey. Nothing at all. I will fly in next time. And so, the so we went. Here's another place we went to eat at because it was. I said I'm ready to go. Driving around traffic, trying to find a place. So this is another hour and a half. Where we were is McDonald's. Where I wanted was something good to eat, <laughs> not a fast food. So driving around trying to find that. Plus be somewhere where we can hop on the interstate and go home. Because we ready. So we ate at this restaurant. And I got moussels. And it was spicy. It was delicious. My friend got fried fish. That was the best tasting fried fish I ever had. And I wish I had got that. Even though my moussels in the bag was good. The potato, the corn. Everything was good. Um, but I'm here to tell you, it was a fail. It was a fail. I didn't go to ThriftCon. I, so it was just, by the time we got home from the back to back traffic, I put a little TikTok of the traffic and I'm quite sure I've showed you some of the traffic. By the time we got home, it was 9.30. So, I mean, I want to keep it real. I could have made it fake and phony and I like everything went good, but honey, it did not. But I'm not going to let that discourage me because I've been on plenty of trips. And this is the first one that was a fail. So, sometimes you got to learn. I mean, that's what my lesson is today. I mean, if I'm going to talk about anything, I'm going to talk about don't let something discourage you. Don't plan ahead plan good if you're going to go on a vacation or if you're going to go on a trip and if you're going to do an impromptu one like i did honey check what that city is all about transportation uh parking if you're going to a venue all that stuff and i don't believe i was so excited to go that i did not do thorough research now i researched the parking i said plenty of parking it was a big stadium plenty of parking uh, two big parking lot areas, north and I think it was north and south. Honey, and I did not think ThriftCon was going to be that big. I did not. I'm sorry, I didn't. I wasn't prepared for that either. So, but it ain't gonna stop me from doing another road trip. I love road trips, but one thing I can tell you, honey, the food. Even though I did not get to go to any of the fancy restaurants that I be seeing my YouTubers go to. Uh, the food is delicious. Eat, so I cannot wait. If I go back to Atlanta, I will be well, well prepared. And it will never be a in and out. I'm going to cuddle with her. <laughs> Bye, guys.